Hey guys, it's Sasha, and in today's video, I'd like to show you how to edit your image in cinematic style, and how to change your colors, and how to find out what colors work the best for your image. So let's get started. This is my final image, and let me show you what it looked like before. So that's after, and that's before. After, and that's before. And Without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so to start editing this picture, let's take a look and let's find out what colors we already have in this image. So as you can see, we have a lot of brown color over here on the film. We have brown jacket, our skin is yellow with some magenta. So let's think what colors will complement this image and will complement the colors that we already have in our image. So let's take a look at different color palettes. A lot of movie makers, they know how to use different colors to create different mood in the pictures. But for someone like you and me who struggles to color grade the pictures, you can go to Google and type in cinematic color palette and you can see a lot of different examples from different movie scenes and how they were color graded. So let's take a look at some of them. Let's take this image, and as you can see, we do have a lot of brown, yellow, light uh, yellow colors in this image, so we need to find complementary colors that will work together well. So it would be these three colors for this image. So let's take a look at this really simple example of how to use complementary colors for color grading. So our image has a lot of brown and yellow tones, so they are over here on our RGB circle, so we need to use opposite colors for them. So it would be these blue-ish, teal-ish colors for my picture. So let's start editing our picture. I already edited my image with dodge and burn technique and healing brush. As you can see, this is what it looked before, and this is after, before, and after. If you guys have any questions about dodge and burn or how to clean out your skin, please let me know in the comment section down below. As I told you before, you'll just need to use five simple steps to create this cinematic look. Okay, so let's start from our solid color, let's find a teal color somewhere around here, not too dark, not too bright, and let's change our blending mode to multiply right here. And let's lower down our opacity to 30%, just like that. And we need to create another solid color. Let's find same teal color for this image and let's change our blending mode to saturation. You can play with different blending modes depending on your image. I edited this picture before so I already know what works the best for this particular image. And let's change our opacity to 24 approximately. Lower down. I think that already looks really nice. Okay, my next step will be solid color. And in solid color, I would like to add more contrast to the skin. So let's lower down our reds and our yellows and black. Next, let's go to neutral. And here we will start from cyan. We will add some cyan. We will change magenta to plus seven. Next, we will add more yellow and we will add more black plus two, just like that. And let's also go to whites and let's change our black to minus 11. Okay, that already looks really nice. Our next step will be vibrance. 
don't go crazy here because sometimes it will be really oversaturated. You don't want anything like that to be on your picture. So let's find numbers that will work for us. Since I already edited this image before, I know that my vibrance will be plus 18 and my saturation will be approximately plus 7. And I will bring down my opacity to 75% like that and as you can see it added some color it made it more vibrant and more saturated it looks nice and my last step it will be curves just create a really simple curve and lower down our shadows and legs let's take a look looks nice but let's bring it down to 70 percent okay that already looks really nice and you see how these colors uh, popped and all of them work really well together one more thing i forgot let's go to selective colors and let's go to our cyan because I see I do have some cyan over here in these areas. So let's make it pop even more. Let's make it more bright like that. Uh, maybe just a little bit lower like this. Let's, let's play. Okay, magenta minus 48. Let's take a look at this. Let's lower it down a bit. Let's go to our blues and also play over here some. Okay, one more thing I see that I don't like really what my science did to the image, so I'll bring it down some like that. Okay, that looks nice. Let's take a look. I like that. And my last step to make this image look more like vintage style, let's create some noise on this image. Okay, so press option and new layer then change your mode to soft light and fill this layer with neutral color 50% gray. Okay, then go to your filters, then find noise, add noise, and find the number that works for you. For me on this image, I would take around 9.5 or maybe even 10 and just make sure that it's on the Gaussian. Let's click OK and let's again go to filters, then let's go blur and let's find Gaussian blur and here just blur it to one pixels. OK, that looks really nice. Let's take a look. So as you can see, because it added some noise, it started to look more like a vintage. That's exactly what I wanted it to look like. And that's pretty much it. So let's put everything in a folder and let's take a look what we've done. From this to this. You can see that all the colors, they work really well together. They complement each other and they make image look way better and way more interesting thank you guys for watching my video if you like this video please subscribe give me a thumbs up and if you will have any questions please leave your comments down below in the comment section let me know what would you like to see next and i'll see you in my next video bye guys